What's going on, everybody? This is Mitch Lazorko. I'm a director of photography that specializes in corporate interviews as well as personal and commercial branding, both photography and video. Today's shoot is going to be fun. It's a standard corporate headshot shoot. The kicker is that this is for a nonprofit that works with animals. So we're doing individual headshots and individual headshots while they hold a kitten or a puppy. If you've ever tried to take a, a picture of a kitten or a puppy, you know how challenging that can be. So I really came into this shoot with the mindset of trying to be flexible and ready to go. Uh, there are two tips that I have for you today. The, uh, the topic of our video is headshot photography tips to get good results. I've got two tips I'm going to give you today that could uh, help you in the future with your photography. We're going to get into that in a little bit. This client requested a gray backdrop and relatively flat and bright lighting. So that's what we came prepared for. We've got a thunder gray backdrop. We're going to set up on a C stand and we're going to use a two light setup today. Also going to be shooting tethered just so we can make sure that all those little kittens and puppies are in focus and actually looking at the camera when we take those photos. Let's start with our first tip. Um, my first tip would be uh, be prepared to be flexible and avoid glare. So there's a lot going on there. But what I would say is uh, for this shoot, I looked ahead at the website, at the staff that I was going to be taking photos of. A couple of the people were wearing glasses. I wanted to avoid any glare in those glasses. So rather than having a single light directly in front of them that would introduce glare, I ended up using two lights from either side. So these are four foot bounce umbrellas. Uh, these are by Westcott, but they're all, you can get any of these umbrellas. They're not particularly deep. Um, and we're just bouncing from either side. Here's our R6 Mark II with the RF 24 to 70. I've got the cage so I can use that cable clamp for my USB-C cable, which is great. Make sure you don't ruin your USB-C um, ports, guys. Make sure you take care of those. So 8200 with the bare bulb, four foot umbrella. And basically we're shooting them uh, from either side of the face so that if you're taking photos of somebody with glasses, you're not having to worry about that glare. You can really um, rotate those umbrellas in or out to manipulate your light. You're not focused on just having one source of light. So you don't have to worry about hitting, uh, having a bunch of shadow on one side. Also knowing that we were going to have animals, I wanted to make sure they were in focus. So we're at f5.6, 1 1 of, of a second, ISO 200. I think I started at 100, but I ended up bumping it up to about 200 once we got going here. So this is our setup. Not too bad. Uh, Here's an example. This is something we delivered to our client. So look at that cute kitten. So this subject had glasses on, no glare. He was nice and flatly lit. Um, our cat, if you look in the cat's eyes, you can see the catch light on either side of each eye. Uh, you can see each of those catch lights, which is great. Really makes those eyes pop. And I didn't have to worry about which side they were holding the animal on. Now, my second tip is be patient. Now here's another one. You want to make sure that your subject is posed the way that you want, or if you have two subjects that they're both posed, wait, my, my tip is wait to take the shot. Make sure everything is the way that you need it to be before you hit your shutter button so that you don't end up with a bunch of extra raw uh, files that you're not even gonna use. So this took some time to get the dog looking at the camera to get the subject posed properly but take the time to do that. So uh, that's my tip number two. So here you are just packing up. So in summary, my tips are one, come prepared to be flexible with your lighting. Uh, you know, avoid glare when you can if someone's wearing glasses. And my second tip is going to be wait to take the shot. When I first started working as a professional photographer, I typically always made myself feel too rushed. I suffer from anxiety, so I already feel like I'm, you know, behind and not doing things fast enough. But uh, as I've grown a little bit older and understood my anxiety, but as I've uh, developed my skill as a photographer, I've learned I'm always going to get better results if before I, you know, hit record if I'm doing video, if before I hit the shutter button, that I just take a moment look at the scene, look at the subject, look at the background, make sure everything is the way that I need it. And then if something needs to be adjusted, I adjust it first and then I take the shot and then I hit record. And giving your, allowing yourself just the space to do that uh, can be a challenge sometimes, especially in something like this. This was a, I think an hour and a half shoot. I had to get uh, 10 subjects with and without uh, cats and dogs. So it was kind of go, go, go. But as much as you can, give yourself the space to do that. 
I would encourage you to uh, click the like button and leave a comment below, please, as well as please subscribe to my channel. I want to continue to make content that uh, describes my perspective on what it's like to run a business, as well as what my process is for getting the results that I do. So um, I, I really want this channel to be something that's helpful for people. Uh, when I first started my business, there were a lot of little things, little nuances about running a business uh, that I didn't quite know and wasn't quite as searchable on YouTube. So there are a million videos on you know what camera to buy, but not on necessarily how to run a business when you're a corporate headshot photographer or a videographer. So I would love to shed some light on that for you guys. But otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. See you later.